I think, uh, I think most people in healthcare would say this has easily been the hardest year of their professional career. The Erie County Medical Center got its first COVID patient last March 16th. We didn't know how to protect ourselves, our families, or our patients because we didn't know how it was spreading. Christy Lease had just become a critical care manager two months before and was now in charge of the 12th floor COVID unit. At first we weren't universal masking and then the next day we were. Every day since then, ECMC has taken in COVID patients through its emergency department. Patients didn't always present just with coughing and shortness of breath. They would often come in just not feeling well. Early on in the pandemic, every hospital had concerns about running out of these, ventilators. ECMC has about 90 ventilators, and today, only three of the 90 are being used by COVID patients. We found things that have worked great, and you know I think we've had great response in treating our patients, but we didn't know that in the beginning. I certainly don't know if I would have envisioned all the things that have happened this year with the two waves the um, number of people that we ended up admitting. Associate Medical Director Sam Cloud is proud of how resilient these frontline lifesavers continue to be. I remember in the very beginning, my wife and I are both physicians, and we were, we were terrified that we would both die and our children would be left parentless. Even in those dark days, we've all, you know, there's been uh, hundreds of pandemics throughout history. Um, healthcare pro professionals, um, we're there to care for people then, and we're here to care for our fellow Western New Yorkers now. You know, there was so much support, especially in the beginning, all the, the meals and flowers and sweets and treats and everything was just amazing and totally unexpected. And it's really nice to feel that appreciation. George Rickard, News 4.